In this video we're going to use Simpson's rule to approximate the area, or the surface area, of the Blue Lake, which is a lake in Mount Gambia, South Australia. We're going to begin by looking at an approximation which uses two segments, or basically divides the lake into two segments. First thing we need to do is work with the scale. So we need to work out uh, using a ruler, in this case our ruler doesn't actually have centimetres and millimetres, but we need to work out what each unit on our ruler corresponds to. So we measure it here to show that 16 units uh, corresponds to 200 metres. If we divide both numbers by 16, we get that one unit corresponds to 12.5 metres. We're going to use that as a starting point for our calculations. Our next step involves dividing the lake up into two segments of equal width. To be able to do that, the first thing we need to actually do is work out the, the width of the lake. Uh, again, we use our ruler to, to determine that, and with a simple measurement, first we mark out the, uh, the two endpoints, so the leftmost and the rightmost parts of the lake, and then we measure across. We find out that the, like, the width of the lake is 72 units. Dividing that by two means that each segment will have a width of 36 units. Okay, so our next step is to measure the, the three lengths, L0, L1 and L2. First thing we need to do is actually mark out those line segments which go from uh, one side of the lake to the other side of the lake at those three points. So we see here we measured L0 on the left hand side, L1 in the middle and L2 at the, uh, the right hand side. We then use our ruler to then measure out in terms of the number of units. So L0 is equal to 13 units uh, in length. L1 is equal to 45 units in length. And then so L2 equal to 4 units in length. So having calculated those lengths in terms of our units, we then need to convert those into uh, the length in metres. We do that by multiplying each of the the figures by 12.5. So that's our conversion that we calculated in step one. So we begin by calculating L0, which is 13 units, multiply that by 12.5, we get 162.5. And we do the same for L1. So L1, remember, is 45 units, multiplying that by 12.5, we get a length of 562.5 meters. And then finally for L2, L2 was 4 units, multiplying that by 12.5, we get a length of 50 metres. Finally, we do the conversion for W, so W is 36 units, timesing that by 12.5, we get 450 metres. So the last step is to actually apply Simpson's rule. So we've got our values for L0, L1 and L2, as well as our value for the, the segment width W. So all we need to do now is is uh, substitute the values into the formula, uh, put it into our calculator, and hey presto, we've got our, our solution. So we begin by just uh, rewriting the equation, and now we substitute the values into there. So 450 is substituted for W, L0 is 162.5, uh, plus 4 times 562.5, so that 4 is always a constant, and then plus L0, L2, which is equal to 50. Uh, putting that into a calculator, we get a value of 369,000 and a bit uh, metres squared. And when we convert that into hectares, we get a solution of approximately 36.9 hectares. So to improve our estimations using Simpson's rule, uh, it simply involves adding or dividing our area into more segments. Uh, really important thing to note here, this has to be an even number of segments. Here we've shown formulae for four segments and six segments. At the end of the video we'll actually look at the more general case where we look at uh, any even number of segments n. So here we have the calculations for uh, estimating the area using four segments. The method is exactly the same as what we did previously. Uh, except in this case we've got two more lengths to calculate and we use a slight uh, variation on the formula or the extended version of the formula 
In this case, we get a solution of 35.2 hectares, so a slight marginal decrease in what we had in the previous uh, two-segment estimation. So here we've got calculation for um, approximation using six segments. Again, the calculations are very similar. Uh, this time we're measuring the length L0 up to L6. Uh, same sort of conversion using the uh, scale factor as before. Uh, we use the formula for six segments, which was shown um, previously in the video. And in this case, we get a, an area of 34.9 hectares. So in this particular example, not a lot of difference between this and uh, four segments. So just to end, we give the general rule for the Simpsons, uh, general Simpsons rule. Uh, it has a particular pattern here. L0 and the very last length, Ln, always have a coefficient of 1. Uh, in between, they alternate between coefficient of 4 and coefficient of 2, except for the second last term, which has to have coefficient of 4. Remember, must always have an even number of segments, so therefore n has to be even.